Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The exact model for this uh, Aspire 5 is an A514-53-56UF and that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker right over the serial number right there. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, the heat sink and include being you can just repaste it, put a better thermal paste on it so it can last you longer, so you don't get any overheating and CPU won't slow down. If you find yours that is, not, is overheating a lot, you might want to do this service. This service should be done every year, I would say, depending the usage that you give daily. If it's five to six hours daily, you should be doing it every 12 months, which is a year. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. By the way, when you do this, you're not, you're not going to damage anything. You're not going to change any configuration in the windows or you're not going to void your warranty. Doing your service, it's, it's not count. Um, doing your service is not going to void the warranty. That's it. Tool number one is a good alcohol. Isopropolic 99% plus. Make sure you use 99%. Don't use anything less than that. You need one sheet of the workshop towel. And you need a good thermal paste. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using an uh, Arctic MX4. You can use an Arctic MX5. If you want to go overboard and overkill, go grab yourself a Thermo Grizzly Fire Knot, which are really good and durable, and they last you a little longer. But uh, for this brand, for this model, I really like using Arctic MX4, which gives you really good results. I'll leave all the links in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. And for the opening tools, I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made of S2 closet steel. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you purchase a Pro set, which I haven't, uh, with the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers and grab yourself a you might need it handy sometimes when you do repaste a spatula plastic one and a tweezers all right with all this on hand we're going to get it started power off the laptop flip it upside down and on the bottom of it you're going to see a whole bunch of screws and there's a two type of screws the short ones and the long ones the short ones are the three in the front end of the laptop so you go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile so you don't mismatch them so you don't mix them with the rest and the rest of the screws are the long one including the one in the middle and go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a different pile also if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, there we go. Once you remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick. And you want to start from the front corner and stick the opening tool between the bottom cover, squeeze it there, and the palm rest. All you need to do is just twist it, and you want to hear that click sound. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all the way to the, I'm sticking about two millimeter. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there, in the front. Okay, do the side. Once you did the front and the side, all you need to do is to put it back down, grab the front end, wiggle it out and pull it out. Again, if you, there's a lot of dust you can include in, you can wash this one, let it for drying. If there's a really dusty, this one is almost clean. And if not, use a toothbrush to just clean it out. A used or new toothbrush is really handy. All right, down here we can see the whole fan system heat sink. This one doesn't have any GPU. If he has, has a GPU, there will be a two screws and a bracket right in here and the VRAMs. And you cannot install it in here. This one only has a CPU. Before we do anything, we're going to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, put your fingernails at the side of the jack right in here. And then you want to pull it back evenly and that's how you disconnect the battery all right next we're going to disconnect the fan cable to disconnect the fan cable you don't want to yank on this cable it has a little gaffer tape left of the gaffer tape here 
you don't want to yank on the cables you can damage them you want to put your fingernails or the tweezers on the side of the jack and then slowly you want to pull it back like that that way you prevent damaging the cables now let's say you don't want to remove the heatsink you just want to clean the dust you can remove this fan cable and remove two screws on the fan and these are Phillips double zero remove two screws that touches the fan now you can grab the fan and bring it up and if you see any dust build up there is almost no dust in here but sometimes it gets clogged up with the dust you can just clean up and blow some air and take outside use a toothbrush to clean up your fan system and blow again some dry air through here that's how you can clean up the fan system without removing the heat sink but now let's say you want to repaste you want to switch back with the same double zero you want to remove the three screws on the heat sink once you remove the three screws you don't want to yank it from here otherwise you can bend the, the tubing if it's really stuck grab it from here and just lift it up and bring it up and there you have it you can see right away that there is no thermal paste on the secondary die if there's a reason and i'm going to explain why and uh, even they cut this section out because they don't want to transfer the heat from cpu die to a secondary die the reason is because this secondary die is called a pch chip so a pch chip what it does it just helps for transferring files and it doesn't heat up that much and in the older models they used to have this chip on a separate part of the motherboard and away from the cpu now to cut the cost down and get a little more performance they made it into the same uh, cpu die so they just come up like this so that's why you don't need to put thermal paste on this one on these models and some models it does get hot so they do have a thermal paste not on this one so you can go ahead and clean up this one now anyway so let's go ahead and clean up so we're going to grab a little bit of the workshop towel You're gonna soak in with the alcohol and we're gonna clean up the thermal paste on the CPU or on the PCH chip. And use a dry part, just rub it off and clean it off, just like that. I'm gonna use the same dirty one to remove the excess of thermal paste in here and then clean it up. All right, once you clean it up nicely, all you need to do, grab your th favorite thermal paste. You want to put one drop on the main CPU die, just like a one raindrop. And what you want to do, you want to bring it down evenly. Once you put the heat sink down on top, you don't want to lift it up again. If you lift it up, you have to clean it up and you have to repaste. So you want to put the screws evenly. There's a little number, one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter where you start because this is a triangle. So doesn't matter where you start. But if it's a if it was a four screw heat sink, then you have to go X shape. So in order for the thermal paste evenly goes all over the place. Once you put that one in there, grab the fan, put the fan on top, and squeeze the fan connector right in there. Put the two screws for the fan. All right, once you put the two screws for the fan, once you want to just snuggle that one in there, you want to grab this connector for the battery and you want to evenly, make sure you evenly push it inside the jack. Don't put it sideways in or anything. And you just want to pinch it together. And make sure the cables are nice and snuggled there. And everything is nice. Just with your finger, just do this one. Make sure the fan is spinning evenly. All right, the next step, is to just grab the bottom cover bring it over set it align it and just push the corners make sure you hear those nice big click sounds if there's any opening just punch them down and make sure you hear those nice big clicks you want to switch back to phillips one and then put the front end of the screw i'm going to power on so you guys can see that it power on it does power on and put the longest screws on the rest of the place. I'm gonna fast forward this part. All 
All right, let's power it on. I don't know if there's any juice left on the battery. Let's see. So if you power on, I'm gonna tap F2. So it takes me to the BIOS and there we go, we got our logo. And there we go, we are in the BIOS. Eight gig RAM and then the CPU iCore 510 Gen. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.